Good evening, peeps. I hope everyone's well. I'm just back for another quick video. I'm actually just in the car at the moment, as you can see. I finished the gym, just did a sauna session, and I thought I'd jump on here really quick just to share some ideas and thoughts with you before I head home. Now, as I was in the sauna, I actually overheard a couple of guys having a chat about YouTube boxing. And in particularly, the card that's just gone. So the KSI Swarms card uh, and the KSI Pineta or whatever his name was, the Mexican fighter. So these two lads were in the sauna and they're having a chat. And one of the lads says to his friend that he thinks that the card over last weekend was a complete fix. And he thinks that YouTube boxing is a shambles. It's a mockery of the sport and that it's actually harming uh, professional boxing. So I was just sat quietly in the corner listening and his friend responds to him and he agrees. He says, yeah, mate, I agree. I think that um, YouTube boxing is just all a fix. It's a setup. it's like wrestling. You know the outcome, what it's gonna be. And all these YouTube fighters, they just do it for clout and because they're famous. So it got me thinking, right, whilst I was sat there that it seems really strange to me that for some reason that boxing fans have a completely different perspective to their sport than say a football fan. Um, how many amateur or how many Sunday league football clubs do you have? How many football clubs do you have for kids, young people? How many uh, YouTubers play football professionally? Not professionally, but as in with their friends competitively. So it's one of them things where you've got to understand that YouTube boxing is the same as all these young fans going out there and playing football for their local team or for their Sunday uh, club or Sunday team or their school or whoever they're playing for. It can't damage the sport. Bringing more eyes to the game in any way, shape or form can't detriment it. And I know it's a an odd example to give, but you don't see major football clubs saying that, oh, we don't want this celebrity football match to take place or this, um, you know, um, Sunday league game to take place because the level of football there is terrible compared to the level of football in the Premiership. Well, it's the same with boxing. The level of boxing that you find on these YouTube shows is completely um, different to the level of boxing that you find in these professional boxing events that are put on. So it can't damage the sport, it can't harm the sport, unless you have a mindset that you think it's a negative thing in general. But that's not a us problem, that's a you problem. So by YouTubers putting on these YouTube fights and setting up their own promotion companies, what they're doing is forcing the game to step up. They're forcing all these promoters and clubs, uh, all these promoters and fighters um, and governing bodies um, to change the way they operate, simple as that. Um, they're going to have to understand that if they want to keep up to date and keep in tune with the fans, generate the pay-per-view buys that they want, they need to take on a lot from the YouTube boxing game. Um, the storylines are just completely different. People buy into the storylines when it's YouTube boxing. The fans legitimately follow the influencers that they want to watch and, and want to watch fight and win. So it can't damage the game. It's exactly like Sunday League football or celebrity football matches. Celebrity boxing matches are not going to damage the game of boxing or damage the sport. I think a lot of professional boxers are hard done by because they now feel like there's no chance that they are going to progress in the game and get the clout or get the eyes looking at them because you kind of need the eyes before you get big or you need the viewership to grow and get big now. So it's back to front, yes. But let's be honest, we live in a back to front time. So YouTube boxing is not bad. I think YouTube boxing is actually really good for the sport. Boxers like KSI, boxers like um, Jake Paul, his competition like Swarms, um, Salt Pappy, all the boxers that were on the card that night actually put up a really good performance. The worst performance of the night came from the professional boxer. So what does that tell you, that a professional boxer can't perform at a boxing event? 
So it doesn't have anything to do with damaging the sport. I think a lot of these negative people feel like they're not going to get the recognition or the clout that they deserve as fighters. Fans do not mind. Fans want to be entertained. It's only boxing purists um, that hate this. Like in the early days, you were listening to people like Frank Warren, Eddie Hearn, talking about YouTube boxing like it was just a gimmick, like it's just a farce. Look how quickly YouTube has grown in terms of the YouTube boxing game and how they are now actually competing with the major um, promotion companies. Um, you've got um, Jake Paul's um, new um, marketing company or promotions company, most valuable promotions. Um, and what they've managed to accomplish in the last two to three years is crazy. They signed one of the biggest female boxers in the world, Amanda Serrano, and she's had the biggest paydays that she's ever had in her entire career. Um, so it just goes to show that it can happen. Again, in the UK, KSI, Happy Punch Boxing and Misfits Boxing are definitely on the come up now. They are definitely on the come up and they're going to start competing with um, promotion companies like Matchroom, uh, like Queensbury Promotion. So the landscape of boxing is completely changing. And a lot of this comes down to the fact that it's taken such a long time for boxing to change their ways. There's so much corruption in boxing. It's so much red tape. You don't actually know who makes the decisions. And even at a professional level, you've got professional boxers complaining about the governing bodies, about the referees, about the officials. So it just shows you that that sport needs to step up. Football has been adapting, it's been changing. You've got VR in football now, where you can literally record it, uh, re um, run it back and see exactly what happened. There needs to be a similar system in boxing, where boxing is scored fairly. There's a point system and it can be watched back. So the right fighter wins. These fighters commit their entire lives to the sport. Now, if they're just going to get robbed at the highest level after spending years and years and years to be elite, it shows that something is fundamentally wrong with the sport and they're not championing the excellence that they have. Football does it. Football massively does it. The amount of investment that's gone into football is crazy. And I know people say like Eddie Hearn, oh, well, boxing doesn't get government funding. But boxing is a massive sport. There are millionaires in boxing. I really think that... Um, Companies like Matchroom Sports should have their own investment portfolio into the sport where they're helping the grassroots fighters come up and building their profiles from scratch, not pushing on the fighters to come with clout or to come with an Olympic medal so that they can have the clout because people are now watching the YouTube game and realising that the YouTube game is the future of boxing. They've showed us exactly what is wrong with the sport. And it's just a matter of time before I think mainstream boxing catches on and the promoters catch on to the fact that they have been missing the boat completely by promoting fights the way that they have. It hasn't changed since the days when Ali um, was boxing to now where Tyson Fury is the king. Boxing is promoted in the exact same way. Yes, digital media has got better and you get much better coverage in terms of sponsorships of the fights. But if you look at the way the actual boxing fight is refereed and managed and controlled, boxing is an old game and it needs to be brought into the 21st century. Uh, and I think that's going to benefit boxing. So YouTube boxing is not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing. And long may it continue. Guys, it's just a really quick video on that. Do share what you think. Is YouTube boxing bad for the game? Is it good for the game? Do you think people like KSI or Jake Paul are bringing down the game? Or do you think that they are mavericks in their own field and they are driving forward a new era in boxing? Um, drop a comment.